Ranking the most annoying celebrities. Let's get into it. Okay, we'll be ranking our celebrities from severe hatred to tolerable. Meh. Starting off with Amber Cuntlips Hearn. <sighs> Amber, Amber, Amber. You can't take down a national treasure and then walk the streets as if nothing's ever happened. I personally blame you for the last Pirates of the Caribbean installment without Johnny Depp himself. I don't hate her, but she's definitely a cunt. Up next, we have DJ Khaled, the most irritating man I've ever watched. Take a look at this clip. And uh, shrimp shumai, um, and then half of them have chili aioli on them, okay? Shrimp what? <laughs> shrimp shumai. Have you ever played rugby? For those that didn't believe me. All right, let's see where he goes. He will be go away. Just go away, Khaled. I think uh, I don't mean, wish you any harm. I just don't want to see you ever again. I think that's fair. Kevin Hart, this might be an unpopular opinion, and that's fine. I'll stand by it all day. It's not so much his comedy. I don't mind it when he's doing his thing. It's when he's on shows like Joe Rogan, and he talks a lot like this. Like, Joe, when you're in this headspace and you're going for a goal, right? Right. And he's like talking really slow and patronising me and you. How annoying is that? He's a comedian, an actor. Don't get me started on why we fucking listen to actors on things. Because that's a whole other video. So I think he goes, could do without. Because he does have some funny stuff. Could do without. But when he talks like that, he's not quite tolerable. Logan Paul is high up for me. Do you know what's annoying me more than anything at the minute? Is he's on podcasts, interview shows, talking about how he's a business genius. Because Prime got 1.2 billion in sales. Can we just get this right? A drinks company approached him to put his face on it. He has not made a single business decision on that company since it started. I can guarantee you, even in the board meetings, he ain't suggesting fuck all. The great marketers, and that's all they are. They make a video, they make sure he appears with it on TV. He's not some fucking entrepreneur that's killed it. He's done an endorsement that's gone crazy. <sighs> Rant over. For that, you're an annoying cunt. Sorry. Oh. Oh. Meghan Markle. Megan Magic Pussy, I call her. You make a prince, leave a royal family. You've got something going on down there, love. It's the manipulation for me, and I think the world's beginning to see it. And she's so fake about being a cunt. At least be yourself. Steer into the skid, you know? Be a cunt. But not this fake nicey-nicey. I mean, I'll spare you. Please don't listen to her podcast. But all you have to do is listen to one episode of that to know she's full of shit. Absolutely full of it. She is severe hatred. I hate her. It's the fakeness. This is going to be unpopular. Neil deGrasse Tyson. I know you're probably thinking, what's Neil done wrong? Oh my God. He is the boring uncle at the party that knows everything about everything you want to stay away from. There's compilations of him on Joe Rogan, interrupting Joe, talking about everything. And he's got a sprinkle of that Kevin Hart syndrome. You know, he's talking real slow. He's patronising. He can fuck off. However, Cosmos was informative and entertaining. So go away, Neil deGrasse. Oh, David Walliams next. For those across the pond in the US, probably won't be familiar with David. He did a sketch show over here years ago that went crazy successful. But he's such an ass. Watch any appearance he's ever done and tell me that guy isn't a jumped up little knobhead. And he's getting his comeuppance now. Anyway, he's been sacked from Britain's Got Talent for being a knob to contestants. So that's what you get, David. All coming back to bite you, pal. Annoying cunt. Annoying cunt. Also, side note, my cousin went to go see Britain's Got Talent and confirmed he's a right knob to everyone around him. So there you go. Confirmed. Ninja, or dickhead, as I like to call him. The guy sulks and strops like he's 12 years old. And even then, I think he puts 12-year-olds to shame. The thing is, he's huge because he's a great gamer. He's a great gamer. Don't make any mistakes here. He's popular because he's amazing at Fortnite, and I will not take that away from him. But if he had to have his own show based on his personality, well, watch that sucker get cancelled after one year, pal. You would not have any success if it was based on your personality. Have you ever seen his rage compilations? Ridiculous. Grow up. Annoying cunt. Yeah, that's fair. Annoying cunt. Tommy Fury next. He's not as annoying as the others, but there's just something so intolerable about when he speaks. I mean, he's thick, and I wouldn't say this to his face, you're quite right, he'd knock me out. But when he talks, he doesn't say anything. After the KSI fight, he was saying, I'm done now, back to serious business. 
But if any of the Paul brothers want it, I'll have them. Just completely contradicted, contradicted what he said at the start of the sentence. And if you've seen At Home with the Furies on Netflix, I'll save you the bother, don't watch it. He's saying how he wants to break into films. And Tyson's like, oh, you know, you, you're going into films and that's your plan. He goes, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, yeah, me, yeah. Only scary films, though. That's the ones I like the most. And Tyson's like, yeah, yeah. Right, okay, so he's sat there demanding the genre. He'll only do one genre as an actor. That'll work out well, Tommy. Real well. Please don't hurt me. But you go in, in, go away. You haven't done all that severe. Please don't hit me, though. Kendall Jenner. Stuck up cunt. That's all I'll say. She's absolutely stunning. Don't get me wrong. Can't take that away from her. But she's the definition of stunning and knows it you know there's reports and you can see it in the show she's treating everyone like a dick all the time and it's because she's born with a fucking golden spoon up her fucking twat she's going to severe hatred brendan sharp podcaster ufc fighter and comedian believe it or not yeah i think he's just overexposed to be honest he says a lot of bullshit he doesn't follow along with everyone. He spits out random facts. There's actually a really big sub-community on the internet for hating Brendan Schwab. So go check it out. You'll hate him by the end of the day. I'm going severely hated. I'm sorry. Every clip I watch of him, I hate. There was a point when he first came out on Joe Rogan and stuff where he was on the up. But ever since then, he's just crashed and burnt. AJ, Anthony Joshua last, but not least. AJ's irritating me a lot at the minute just because he's like, Worrying about what everyone's saying, he's so sensitive. He's in a press conference going, Yeah, well, everyone's saying this about me. Well, you'll see. Yeah, yeah, but that's what everyone says, innit? But why are you worried? Why, why are you even looking at what anyone's saying, mate? You've done more than most people will in the life. You know, he's just, I don't think he's very confident. I think under those big, black, bulging muscles, there's a little insecure boy. But that ain't a crime. So he's going, could do without. Now, I'm noticing two things. I may have a hatred for women, and I can't tolerate anyone. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. Let us know what you want to see in the next tier list, and we'll take it from there. Like, comment, and sub. God bless you. I'll see you in a bit.